Oh, hey, I didn't mean to drop in on you, but now that I have you, let me and my friends teach you a thing or two about water conservation. You know, water is one of our most important resources. Even though the Earth is about 70% water, only 1% of it is accessible fresh water. That means my friends and I are more rare than you might think. We gotta do all we can to keep ourselves safe. I could tell you more stats about us, but I think it's better if I just show you what I mean. Let's go! Whoop! Here in the bathroom, a lot of us water drops sure get wasted. If you want to do all you can, install a new water-conserving toilet. A new water-conserving toilet uses half as much water as a conventional one and works just as well. Whoop! If you can't get a low-flow toilet, try putting a large, filled plastic bottle in the tank. It forces the toilet to use less water when it flushes. The bathtub is where the most water is wasted. Try using the shower instead. Did you know an older shower head uses about five gallons of water per minute? That's just money going literally right down the drain. A new shower head uses half as much water and still gets you squeaky clean. In my house, we use water conserving shower heads and no lollygagging while you're in there. Shorter showers save both water and energy. So save the daydreaming for the breakfast table. Phew. There are a lot of little things that you can do around the house to help me out. Did you know that washing dishes by hand can take up to four times as much water as a dishwasher? That's way too much. The average dishwasher takes six gallons and Energy Star washers take only four. So fill those washers full and don't waste any of us drops. And when you do laundry, make sure it's a full load or select the proper water level. Many new washers have settings to help you use less water. So use them, whoop. When you need a drink, Stay away from those plastic bottles of water. It takes 36 ounces of me to just make one plastic bottle. And sometimes the water inside is just tap water. Can you believe that? Oops. And don't forget about outside. I could use your help out here too. Lawn care can be more than half of your yearly water use. That's just too much. Water in the early morning or at night to avoid evaporation. That's just money disappearing into thin air. And I'd really like it if you'd get a rain barrel. The rain in the barrel can be used later to water plants, saving drops and money on your water bill. And drip irrigation is another good way to conserve water while watering plants. Whoop. If you just do some of the little things, it will make a huge difference. And my friends and I can stay around a little longer. Without smart water management, we could all be in real trouble. But with your help, everything will be right as rain. Get in touch with some of these folks to learn more.